As wildfires have increased in frequency and size over the past few years, it has prompted all of us to sort of reevaluate our preparedness plans, even if you don't live in an area where wildfires are common. In a new movie inspired by true events, a family in Northern California is suddenly confronted by a wildfire and forced to rely on their survival instincts. Let's take a quick look at the new movie on fire. Destruction is catastrophic. This is no joke. The best thing to do is fireproof the house. What do we do now? We wait. We pray. Yeah, tough to watch, especially if you've been caught in one of those wildfires. Actor and co-director Peter Fasanelli is with us now. Peter, thanks so much for joining us. It's nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So next week is Fire Prevention Week. How important is it to release this movie now? Was that intentional? Yeah, it definitely was intentional. You know, we wanted to have this release at a time where people could go places to, um, to to go to websites to find out what they could do to fireproof their houses and do their individual jobs to solve a, a bigger, bigger issue. So the movie is set during one of the Northern California's most dangerous wildfires. I'm, I'm curious, was there a specific instance that inspired you and your team to create this movie? Uh, this script is based on several uh, real true story incidences. So, um, yeah, it was inspired by true events. Uh, the, you know, overall um, umbrella of this movie is a family survival film. But underneath that umbrella is some really wonderful takeaways of a family growing through a harrowing evening together. Uh, and and we celebrate firefighters. We celebrate 911 operators. Um, so, so it has a little bit of everything under an entertaining film. Yeah, I'd like to talk a little bit more about that. You dedicate this movie, in fact, to the firefighters and first responders, as well as the survivors of wildfires. What more do you think needs to be done to support these critical first responders? Well, I know firefighters for sure could always use new equipment. They're always uh, trying to get fundraised so they can get new equipment. But, but this movie really puts a, a, a spotlight on on first responders as well. You know, 911 operators, first responders, they, they don't always run into the burning building. They're not the ones sometimes on the, on the front line of fire, but they have people's lives on the other end of that call. And, uh, you know, being able to spotlight that and show just how heroic they are and, 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 and the stresses that their jobs bring uh, was important to us. How was it directing this, knowing that it's, you know, inspired by true stories and there are real people behind the stories? Yeah, this was an important uh, movie for me. You know, I got the script and I thought this is a very poignant story. I like that it was inspired by true events. Uh, it was, it was, we had just come out of, I think the Australia fires. I mean, this is a worldwide issue. It's not just Northern California. I mean, we just saw what happened in, in Hawaii. So, so I took it on as an actor really, um, you know, wanting to, to do something uh, that, that could get out there in the zeitgeist and and uh, and help, you know, maybe press pause so we could come together and, and figure out how to solve the bigger issue. Uh, but while we were filming, the director, Nick Lyon, ended up getting COVID. So, you know, we were too small of a movie to shut down. So he looked at me and we knew it. we were working together really collaboratively. And he passed the torch to me and said, can you finish up? I did. And then we took that collaborative effort into the into the uh, editing room, and, and we spent nine months in post carving out the movie that you see. So it's a true labor of love. Uh, I'm excited to get this out there to people. It's entertaining, but but it also leaves off with great messages of hope and rebirth. And like I said, uh, puts a spotlight on, on uh, the courage of firefighters and uh, 911 operators. So it, I think they'll get a little bit of everything. It's a good family film, too. It, it meant a lot to me, and, and I think it will mean a lot to, to other people. Yeah, and timely as well. Peter Fascinelli, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. His new movie, uh, On Fire, is out in theaters now. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.